Hey now friends, it's Miranda and welcome back to Corgi's Line and Nails. And if you hear my dog drinking water loudly, there is a Corgi that lives in this house and he loves to make noise while I make videos. So um, yeah, we do have a little bit of wine today too. Um, and that's why my channel is called Corgi's Line and Nails. We hang out, we um, drink wine and do nails. <laughs> we listen to my Corgi bark sometimes. So uh, what we're gonna do today is I'm going to do gel polish over um, a clear acrylic dip powder. And uh, so I'm gonna use DP90 Crystal Clear from Sparkle & Co today as my, um, as my clear dip powder. And then I'm going to try out these Laguna Moon gels. Um, so they had reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in reviewing their products. And this is really the first time I've um, done a review for a company, so it should be a good time. Um, <laughs> But what's cute about this is this one's called the whole shebang and um, they let me pick from I think maybe six options and it comes with six of these eight milliliter um, gels and they're really cute it's a good size um, but I liked this one because out of all of the options that they had this actually had different uh, varieties of um, you know like gel type or gel outcomes, I guess you could say. I don't know if that's the right thing to call it. Um, but uh, showing you here, so this one's a temperature changer and it has glitters in it. Um, this one's one that looks like a metallic. Uh, this is a cat eye. Um, I did one with kind of a stripe um, and then one with like a circle. Um, it did come with this little cat eye um, magnet, right? But um, the one with the circle, I had another magnet that I made that circle with. Um, but I'm gonna try the stripe today, and you can tell I kind of goofed up when I was <laughs> swatching these. But um, let's see, this one here, this one is the tri triple changer. Um, wait, hold on, that one, triple changer is right here, tri color temperature. Uh, and it's, uh, it's really cute. So um, let's see, this one's just a regular flat, really beautiful deep navy. And this one's a glitter. Um, so I thought it'd be fun. I'm gonna do two different looks, one on each hand. And so I'm gonna kind of put the blues together and I'm gonna put the pinks together and I'm gonna make two different mani looks and I'll tell you what I think about these gels. Um, and I've been wanting to try cat eyes, so I'm kind of excited. I hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned. Okay, so first thing first, I'm going to do um, clear, uh, probably two dips of clear. And I'm gonna use my Triple D liquids. These are seriously, in my opinion, the best dip liquids that are out there right now. Um, I do have some others that are my favorite, but, um, well, ones that I really, really like, right, and enjoy. But these are, I guess, my number one out of my top three favorites, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm really only gonna need the base and the activator because we're going to use um, gel. Um, so I'm gonna use those gels, and then I have Sparkle & Company gel base and gel top coat. Um, I did mention it to the company when they reached out that maybe they would want me to try their base and um, top coat with the, uh, with, you know, trying out their products, but they didn't really like say anything about that. <laughs> so that's cool. I'll, I'll use my Sparkle & Co staff. Um, and I do have a peel away base on underneath. Um, that I've already applied, which is a Sparkle & Company um, peel base that is for gels and dips. I have a little piece of glitter in my ah, base. It's so annoying when that happens. But I had a live swatch party last night in Nail Art Anonymous, and um, I was swatching some really beautiful glitters. Uh, so yeah, I got a little, few little friends in there, but it's no big deal because nobody's gonna see um, this clear underneath. And I actually have some clear that has um, glitter in it because I used it for encapsulating some glitter dips the other day um, that I thought about just using because um, nobody's gonna see it anyways. Like this doesn't have to be pretty and perfect. Uh, but you know, I didn't do that. I was like, I'll use the clean stuff and show you guys what's going on here. Uh, but. I'm just going to do this real quick. I'm gonna do two coats 
and you guys kind of know how to do this. I'm pretty sure, unless you're new to my channel, um, if you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Um, <laughs> you'll notice that my channel is very uh, casual and you know, it's kind of funny. Um, I had some comments the other day. I'm just cleaning up around my cuticles if you're wondering what I'm doing. Um, I had some comments <laughs> the other day uh, saying that you're not gonna get subscribers because you take too long for your intros and you need to, you know, you need to do this, you need to do that. <laughs> and it kind of made me laugh uh, because I could tell it was someone that, you know, I think they had good intentions. And that's why I wasn't like upsetting or anything. I do think they were just like trying to give advice. But I think it's funny because like, this is a hobby for me. And I'm not trying to be, you know, like some special famous YouTuber or anything. Like I'm really doing this just for fun. Like I have a full-time job and a family. And this is just something that is so fun to me. And that's why I make videos are not like professional and like, you know, I don't know. They're just casual. I'm just doing my nails and hanging out with you guys, having a glass of wine, enjoying myself. So, um, I don't know. I just wanted to say that, that for the people that get it, that we're just here to have fun. We're not here under pressure. I'm not trying to be some kind of YouTube star or anything like that. I'm really just want to hang out with you guys and talk with you guys. Um, and honestly, I know I haven't been doing videos as often anymore. Um, just honestly, it was mostly the holidays and then it was my birthday and we went on a trip and just like, and I think we got sick. Like it was just like, you know, the past few weeks have been a little crazy. Um, but I think that, um, let me put a little extra on there. Um, you know, I haven't been doing videos as much, but I've still been doing lives um, in Nail Art and Anonymous. And so if you want to join that Facebook group in Nail Art Anonymous and come hang out, I do live swatch parties and like, just like, you know, when I get new colors and like show them off and like have fun, goof off with my nail friends. Um, that's what I really like doing. Um, Cause I get to talk to people and really just like, you know, it's just casual and relaxed. and. That's really what I have the most fun doing. So um, I think that's probably why I haven't been making as many videos because I have been doing lives and just really, uh, you know. I've still been out there. I've still been goofing off, doing nails and stuff. Um, I just, you know, I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to be anybody. I'm just trying to be me, play with my nail stuff, talk to my nail friends. Okay, I'll stop going on on that little like tangent. You guys are like, okay, we get it, Brenna. Uh, let's see, let's do like that. And um, I've been really wanting to try doing gels over dips. So I'm kind of excited to see how this works out. I used to do gels exclusively because I didn't know about dip. Um, but doing gel on my natural nail peeled off like immediately. So um, I'm really curious to see how this how this works. All right, so I did this hand. I'm gonna do the other hand, and uh, I won't make you watch that whole you know process. But um, let's do the activator real quick, and I'll shape and um, buff a little bit here, just so that's really smooth. Um, maybe I'll cut back so you can just see that part for just a blip, you know, like one nail. And then we'll do the fun part, the gel part. Okay, see you guys in a sec. Okay, so I got a new drill. Look how cute, it's gold and it's portable. Um, so you just charge it up and then it's ready to go. Um, and I'm just gonna clean up my cuticles. Let me make sure if I have it going the right direction. I'm still getting adjusted to it. Oh, I need to make it go the other direction. Oop. Okay, here we go. Um, but I really like that it is portable. Hopefully it can stay in shot. Jeez, Marina. Um, so I'm just gonna clean up around the edges here just like I would if I was doing regular dip nails um, because I want it to be like it's my real nail, right? Like when I put the gel on, gel will show 
um, any kind of like lumps or bumps, you know? So I really want it to just be smooth and basically just be like, it's my regular nail bag. So that's what I'm gonna do on all of these and my other hand and I'll be right back, I'll show you more. Okay, time to buff. Um, I'm gonna use these buffer blocks and um, I'm using the fine side here to smooth everything down. I want it to be like it's exactly like my real nail, basically. It's all smooth and nice. And after I do all of these nails real quick, then I'm actually going to rough them up. So I'm gonna show you, um, here, I'll just go ahead and show you one nail that way. I don't have to keep, you know, jumping <laughs> for you. Um, but see, like this nail is now all smooth. Like it's my real deal nail. Let me just make sure like around the edges, it's all smooth too. Like all around like that. Um, so okay, nice and smooth. Then with the rough end of my file, I'm gonna go like this. So this is actually better, I would think, right? This is my only, my personal opinion. Um, if you do like using gel, you're supposed to rough up your natural nail so that the gel can grip. And uh, if you do that right, you're kind of taking layers off of your natural nail. So putting some clear acrylic dip and then roughing that up will help, I personally think, with your nail health because you're not actually damaging your natural nail bed, right? Your nail bed is protected by this dip. And now it is all roughed up so it can grip that gel. Okay, sorry if the camera moved and if that looks weird. Um, I shaped and filed the clear um, where it would be like my natural nail and I roughed it up. With my file, I'm gonna use some rubbing alcohol and a little pad here and just clean off all that dust real quick. And then we're going to do, um, I did see that there are instructions on the back. Oops, <laughs> I'm so clumsy. Um, so prepare, sanitize, clean, and shape your nails. That's what we just did, right? Kind of with um, our clear powder effort here. And then uh, we are going to do apply base coat and cure. It doesn't say how long to cure. So that's kind of like, mm, okay, um, we'll just <laughs> try that out. Uh, <laughs> and it says apply gel polish and cure, repeat, um, apply top coat and cure. So uh, I'm just gonna kind of go with what I'm used to as far as cure times. Um, and hopefully that works. Um, I know, you know, depending on your lamp, that can influence what your cure time is. Uh, so, you know, I'm just gonna kind of play it by ear on this. Uh, but let's do, I have Sparkle & Co gel base, and I'm going to put that on all my nails. And then I will cure this for, I think I'm gonna cure this for 30 seconds. And, um, and then I'll do the colors. Mm -hmm. I'm like a little nervous about trying it. Um, I'm gonna do both thumbs. If you guys um, have ever used gel, uh, it kinda can like move on you, right? <laughs> so on this base, I'm gonna do my thumbs and put them in the lamp together like this so that it doesn't um, kind of like shift all the gel to the side. And you have your hand like this and you get like a lump on the side. So I'm gonna do where both nails go in horizontal or flat or whatever you wanna call it into the lamp. And I'm trying to make sure to get close to my cuticles but not on them, right? Um, I think I've got good coverage on that one. I want to try to, I have this little thing I got from Mini Moguls. And let's see if I could just do a little smooge, make sure I don't get 
skinny on my cuticle. Oh, there's like a little fuzzy. <laughs> okay, I think that'll be good. Uh, Cause then your gel will lift. So I think I didn't get that edge right there. All right, I think I got decent coverage and I'm gonna cure these. Um, and I'm gonna do that for all my hands. Okay, so we're gonna get into the gel part of the video. All right, so this is, um, this one is a temperature changer as well. Um, it actually looks like a very sheer pink. Um, and I was trying to decide <laughs> how to use it. Um, but I think I'm gonna put it on, hmm, I'm kind of nervous. I think I'm gonna put it on, here, I'm just kind of stirring it up. Uh, my pointer and my pinky. Uh, it's kind of a little thick. I'm not really accustomed to gels anymore, so, and it's got glitter in it too, so um, if it looks like I'm being super sloppy, it's kind of, kind of, um, it's kind of been a minute since I've been into doing gels. Okay, so see how it's going on where it looks like, well, oh, isn't it supposed to be pink? It's because my finger is warm and I had it under the lamp. I did 30 seconds on um, on the gel base, but it's depositing some of those pretty glitters. That's cute, I like that. Uh, kind of get the edge capped a little. And let me see if I can kind of push down to drop some more glitters on. So, that's one coat there. Ooh, that little edge is gonna get me. I'm gonna file that after I um, cure this, and then the second coat will make sure that that kind of like seals it back up again. Okay, let's do this one. Ooh, look at our big glitter. I like big glitters. Give me all the sparkles. I love anything with sparkles and glitters. Um, and this is really pretty just by itself. I'd like to do maybe a whole mini like this. Um, because it'd be pretty and girly. But see, can you see the tip is um, the deeper color because that's the cold color. That's really cute. Okay, so I'll put the temperature one to the side. The cat eye one, I'm not gonna use the cat eye magnet until um, the second time, I think. So this one is like a really nice consistency and a really, really pretty color. That's what this is right here. I'm gonna do that one on my middle is what I just now decided. And really, really pretty. I think I have a little bit too much on there. And just kind of getting it covered. I watched a really good video. Um, so some of you may know, some of you may not know, uh, CJ, who owns Candy Skincare. Uh, she posted a video in Nail Art Anonymous uh, that was really helpful on how to uh, avoid getting bald spots. And it was really just the secret is like going more like this with your brush instead of like that, and, like digging in, you know? Um, and I was like, gosh, thank you for, thank you for that. <laughs> I'll have to find that video though. Um, because it was really, really helpful. And uh, it's a YouTuber who's like a legit, like, you know, I think she was really like a meal tech, you know? So really helpful for someone that's DIY like me. Cause I'm just a regular person hanging out, playing with nails. Uh, look how gorgeous this metallic one is. This one is seriously my favorite. I really <laughs> would love to do a whole look with this one. It's so glam. I got a little bit on my um, skin there, which is okay. I'm just going to use this little guy. I got this little tool for mini moguls. It was like $5, I think. Um, but that will come off anyways, you know. If you guys know how gel is, it'll just like peel off your skin. So that's that. I think I'm gonna do this platinum. Um, so that one's called platinum. Sorry, hold on. We already talked about the cat eye and the temperature changing one, but just to show you the labels are different, you know? And so this platinum one that came in the kit, let me see, gotta be really careful that I don't smudge these other fingers. 
I love this. Man, it's so, so shiny. It's got this like metallic pink, kind of like a purple toned pink. And I do think that these colors that came in the collection pair nicely together. I am very impressed that they can make some cute combos, I think. Like you don't have to do all the pink ones together. You could do some of the blue, like the glitter in the, um, look at me slopping this all over the place, guys. Um, like this silvery one has um, that kind of purpley pink glitter in there too. Like you could totally throw that into this look. Okay, let me cure this. Um, I know I said I was gonna do my thumbs together, but I got distracted. Mm -mm. All right, I'm gonna cure this for 30 seconds. Okay, I'm hoping not to make this video a million years. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I'm gonna throw on a little bit more of this one. It didn't say do two coats of the color, but I mean, I don't know. Didn't say I couldn't. <laughs> Um, I do think for this one, I would have been fine, this particular color here, I would have been fine with just the one coat, um, but it brought a few more sparkles, so hey, I like sparkles. And then the pot now, I'm gonna do that one real quick. Um, the reason I am gonna do two coats is because I wanted to uh, try the cat eye effect, and I needed, I felt like I needed to make sure that it had coverage. Um, but definitely for the platinum and this temperature changing one with the glitter in it, uh, you would not have to do two coats. Like they went on really well just by themselves. Uh, okay, let's try this cat eye one. And what a pretty color. It's like a deep wine color, I would say. Like a wine berry kind of color. And it's really just very lovely. Uh, let's try to get. Okay, so here's my cat eye magnet that came in the kit. Um, and I'm just gonna hold it as close as here. I'm maybe I'm probably gonna mess this up because I'm like probably gonna touch my nail to show you. Okay, I'm gonna hold it like as close as I can. Like I'm kind of turn my nail maybe a little bit. Uh, this is really kind of my first time trying cat eye. I've tried cat eye um, nail polishes before and they worked really well, but not gel. So let's see, oh, it did it. I kind of did it a little lower um, than I probably would have wanted to do it. <laughs> okay, um, I'm into it. I think that's pretty good. Uh, I'm actually pretty impressed. I didn't know really what to expect, you know, right? Okay, I'm gonna try to hold it sideways and see if I can make a deeper line like that. If that did anything or not. Mm, I feel like that did not do anything. Right. Oops, oh, don't touch up Marina, jeez. Okay, well, you guys are probably like, I'm gonna stop watching you fidget, Marina, with this magnet. Just go ahead and put it in the lamp. Oh, I feel like I lost it. Did I play with it too much? Dang it, I think I did. Okay, I'm gonna get closer down here so I can get. Um, okay, I think I got the line back. It's not as strong as it was before. Why did I mess with it? Haha, <laughs> see, this is my vi real videos though, guys. Like, I don't try to act like I know what I'm doing. But this is real life. Um, I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna leave it alone, because I already kind of messed with it so much. I just don't leave it alone. <laughs> Let's cure it. I'm gonna cure this. Um, I'm gonna cure this for 30 seconds, and we'll put a gel top. Oops. Okay, gel top. And I'm gonna do the gel top right now, because I want to make sure that uh, when I do my hand um, with the blues over here on my right hand, I wanna just go ahead and be done with this hand so I don't have to worry about like smudging anything or, you know, just being a general klutz. 
but the cat eye definitely worked. I like the effect. I wish I had not messed with it as much because I think it was a little bit stronger um, when I first did it. And then I kinda, you know, just started getting too, too excited. But it does look really pretty and I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up uh, for as pretty as it is, but it works, it's fun, and I like it. So I'm gonna cure this for one minute. All right, so I lied. I actually cured this for 90 seconds um, because I think that that's what I remember the recommended time from Sparkle & Company being for the top coat. Okay, next up, we are going to do this tri-color one. And this, um, to get the tri-color, when I was playing with my swatch, I put it in the freezer and it turns really deep and then it turns this and then it turns like a lighter blue. Um, so I don't know if I'll ever actually see the like coldest color on my hands, just like the way, you know, your hands are warm, but maybe, we'll see, we'll find out. Um, and then this one, I love this silver with the purple pinky sparkles and like kind of teal and navy glitters in it too. Like this can go with so many different looks, I love that. And then this is just a gorgeous deep navy, um, which like navy is so on trend this year. Uh, so yeah, I totally love this. Let's do, let's show you. I decided I think I'm gonna do, since I have the temperature changer on these two, I'm gonna do the temperature changer on my pointer and pinky here as well. Um, Cause I don't know, that's just the logic that I have today. And um, when Laguna Moon first, first reached out to me, uh, it was interesting that they uh, said, hey, you know, would you be interested in doing a review? Um, I said, you know, yeah, you know, I would, um, and because I was interested in trying gels, right, with my dip acrylic underneath, and uh, so I was like, oh, well, this is perfect because I can make a fun video, and uh, I've been wanting to try putting gel over my dip powders because I need the strength. The thing is about gels for me, they just peel right off my nails on my natural nail. So I was like, okay, this is great, like cool, awesome. And then like, okay, well, we'll get back in touch with you, which was fine. Um, and then they did reach back out and they said, hey, um, we are ready. We can, you know, you can choose a kit. I was like, oh, wow, that's awesome. So um, this is the one I picked. They did have really cute like neutrals and like all that kind of stuff, but I felt like this was like, really versatile to show you really how all these gels perform, how they apply, they like kind of give you like a real deal um, look at all of the different collections they have. And so this is why it was appealing to me. Plus, you know, I like blues and pinks, hey. Um, okay, so remember how I was trying to say that video I watched, she was like keeping her brush more like flat to the nail. And that's helping a lot because this glitter is kind of pulling the glitters up. And I don't want them right on the edge, but there. I don't want it to be lumpy on the edge. I want to have a flat tip. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, let's leave that one alone because <laughs> I will keep messing with it. And then I'm gonna use this really pretty navy on my thumb and uh, on my ring finger. So. Ooh, it's such a really nice deep color. Um, well, what I was starting to say, and I got distracted, uh oh, there's like fuzzies on this nail. Oh, I must have touched it on the paper towel. Oh, I hope that doesn't ruin the whole look. Okay, sorry, I got a shot. Um, I must have touched this nail on a paper towel, and you know how like when your gel base is still sticky? It picked up like some fibers. So hopefully this whole nail is not a disaster. We're gonna keep kind of like working with it. <laughs> I told you guys, not a professional, just DIY. Learning as I go with you guys. Uh, and that's why I don't edit this stuff out of my videos because this is real life, you guys. This is real life. I am not trying to come off like I think I know everything about nails or that I'm, um, actually any good at them <laughs> okay so let's see do you want to try to get just like that cleaned up 
But that's a really nice blue. I think I do need the second coat, you know? So that's fine. Let's make sure that I don't touch anything again. Because all this work, and then I'm gonna have fuzzies in my dip, or I mean in my gel, is not cute. Okay, and oh, so I was gonna tell you is when um, I looked them up because they sent their website. Ooh, let me mess. Uh, they sent their website, it's lagunamoon.com. I was like, whoa, because they have thousands of colors. Thousands of colors, like over 2,000 for sure. Um, and all kinds of different collections, right? So uh, that's why I was excited that they offered this trial kit because it shows off uh, some of the different, you know, types of gels, the different looks of gels that they offer. Um, and they have those 9D, I think they call them 5D in their site. Uh, and I wanted to try that. So I'm gonna order some probably um, from them because so far I'm really liking these. I'm gonna order that one that's the cat eye gel that's 5D. And so it has like extra colors with the cat eye effect. Um, and it really makes it super dimensional looking. And I can do another video if you guys like this. If you guys are into this, tell me in the comments. Okay, let me cure this. 30 seconds, I'll be back. Okay, here comes the second coat. I know this video is gonna be long, um, but <laughs> I haven't done a video in a while, and there's a lot of steps here. Some people don't like long videos. They want just like, I don't know, kind of like a short five minute tutorial, and that's okay. I think a lot of people that like watching my channel, they do like just hanging out and kind of just like seeing the whole process. Um, and that's what I've had people reach out and tell me like, thank you for showing me how it really is. Not just like it's so easy and like, you know, jumping a lot and like cutting out what you're doing um, because it's helpful to see for them too how, you know, how it really is gonna happen, like what's gonna happen. Like, and so I really appreciate that because that's kind of just my style. It's, what I'm here doing. Chilling with my friends, doing my nails. Okay, um, I will stop being such a lame out today. Uh, I feel like out of it, because I'm like, I haven't done a video in forever, man. And that was really sweet too, because I had someone reach out. Um, I was actually out of town this week, and they said, hey, Miranda, are you still going to be doing videos? Because you haven't done one in a long time and I miss you. <laughs> and I thought that was like the nicest, nicest compliment. I was like, oh my God, girl, I know. I'm so sorry. I just got caught up with the holidays and um, I'm on a little vacation trip right now. But when I get back, I promise I will do this video. Um, and so I just thought, like, oh, man, that really touched my heart. That was so nice. So nice. I really have met the nicest people in the nail communities. And I've been really lucky that I haven't had like too many meanies come and like, you know, troll me or anything on my channel. <laughs> I was, I mean, I wasn't like scared of that, but it was like one of those things like when I was like, oh my gosh, if I make a channel, like people are just gonna like say mean stuff um, just to be mean, you know? And I mean, it kind of goes through your head, right? Uh, when you put yourself out there, that people are gonna have an opinion about you and wanna like say stuff. But honestly, I've been like, I've received so much love. I'm like, what? I love you guys. And I've made so many friendships, so many friendships since I got into doing nails. So, um, you guys just keep being awesome. I love, I love all the uplifting people that I meet um, here on my channel. Oh no, oh no, you guys, what did I do? What did I do, what's that? What's that, we don't know. Oh crap. <laughs> we don't know what that is. Oh, did I get that on that? Yeah. You guys are like Miranda. Your channel is a disaster. I know, I know, crap. Um, I'm just gonna roll with it because I don't know how to fix that. I did something and I made a little spot on that nail and I must have gotten 
this navy on it somehow, but I have no idea how. How does that happen? Okay, well, now you know, don't do that, you guys. I like the educational video of what not to do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see, let's see. You know what? I feel like there is like a little spot there. I must have touched something. Hmm. Okay, well, it's okay. It's just nails. I mean, we'll survive, right? <laughs> Let me cure this. Okay, the spot's definitely still there. <laughs> um, that's so funny. This is totally my life. Okay, let me put on this gel top coat. And let's see. Seal this guy in. And I'll cure the gel, gel top coat for 90 seconds. Um, but that really cracks me up that I did that. Um, as far as, you know, I guess, you know, we're here for a review, right? Um, I do think that the gels are nice. I love the different looks that they offer. And this is just like a small part of the selection that they have on their website. Um, and the gels themselves have been easy to use. I would like to try their gel base and top coat along with their gel here and just see like if it helps them perform, you know, like with the way that their, um, you know, the chemistry and the makeup of them are. Uh, maybe like that would be really good to try together. Just like their formulation, I guess is the right word. And um, so I think I am gonna try to get that 5D cat eye gel and um, make another video about this because I've been really dying to try that cat eye gel. That's the 5D one. Um, but so far, everything has been really uh, nice and working well. And except for, you know, me just being a goober and goofing stuff up, <laughs> then uh, I can't I can't blame that on anybody else but me. I will say, oh, this is what I wanted to tell you guys. It did take a while to ship. And I don't know if that was because this was like, you know, PR kind of stuff. And so it just took a while or if um, that's like really kind of their shipping times, but I do want to say it took like at least two, maybe two and a half weeks to ship to me, to my house. And I did notice it did come from China. So, um, just wanted to put that out there. Um, oh, I wish that little spot wasn't there. Oh, well. Okay, I'm going to cure this for 90 seconds. All right, you guys. So, we just washed our hands and I'm actually really thrilled with the results here. Um... Definitely, you know, could use a little bit more practice with gel, uh, but I think that it turned out great. I'm gonna put on um, my cuticle candy from Candy Skin Care. This is from my sub bag. It's called Give Me the Tea. And then somebody posted in the community group that um, the December scent with this month's scent, uh, so Give Me the Tea plus candy canes uh, makes mint tea. <laughs> and I was like, what? And I tried it today and it smells incredible oh my god it smells so good so um yeah if you're into the candy skincare cuticle candies and you have those scents mix them together and shout out i forget who said that in the community but man what a genius and then um look you guys you know how my pinky's broken so it kind of sticks out when i bend it like that like i'm getting like building muscles where i can like pull it in <laughs> okay i'm being a dork right now um, so one thing I wanted to tell you really quick, when I was saying then uh, there weren't a lot of instructions, look what's on the inside of the um, kit here. Oop, I'm not gonna burn my oils. Um, there's all these like helpful tips. So like peeling nails, gel polish that won't dry, how to remove, color difference, will it work? Uh, if I don't use UV, the gel polish is too thin, not easy to color on, how long can it stay? How long is the storage time? interested in distributing our products. Like how cool is that? All of that's here, all this like helpful tips, right? So um, I overlooked that earlier and I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, make sure that that information is there. 
Okay, so you can see a little bit, like my tips are a little bit cold. And <laughs> my son is now up from his nap. I'm gonna put my hands in this little cup. Ooh, it's chilly. And show you, ooh, look. I didn't get my nail all the way in, but you can see the three colors on the blue. Cute, right? So that's warm, medium, super cold, like icy cold. And then that one is now all the way cold. Pretty cool, huh? So um, I think I would like to try more of these um, triple thermal ones. And I'm gonna definitely get some more of the cat eye that have the 5D effect. My son approves of that decision as well. <laughs> All right, well, love you guys, and thanks, now, friends. If you have any ideas on what you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. And uh, thanks for, you know, being here. Thanks for hanging out on my channel. Love you guys, bye.